guys, welcome to the video. And here today is something very simple, how to change the background music in Multiman to pretty much absolutely anything that you want. Now, I'm not gonna be showing you how to edit or create music files, because that's up to you. I will show you the criteria and the guidelines in order to make sure that the file properly plays in Multiman. I know that this is something that's really nothing new, but it may be to some of you out there because, you know, PS3 Hen has introduced a lot of new people into the PS3 modding scene. So this will work with custom firmware. This will work with Hen. Uh, as long as you can use Multiman, then this will work for you. Doesn't matter what version of Multiman it is or what version of firmware you have, this will just work. Uh, I wanted to also make this video so it can be archived here because I just want to have a big list of PS3 tutorials here on the channel because you know you never know some 20, 30, 50 years from now when the PS3s become a hot retro commodity and people want to mod them. I want them to find the channel and have everything just right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the file we'll be using today here is this little MP3 that is a royalty-free piece of music that I got. Um, the file that you will need to start off with must be an MP3. I believe Multiman also caps the bit rate, which is the quality, at, I, I think, 192. You can try something higher, like maybe 256 uh, kbps or a, th a full 320 um, KBPS MP3 and see if it works. If it doesn't, it's not going to brick your PS3. The worst case scenario is it just won't play. But I do know that 192 KBPS or less does work. So this particular file, and I'll show you here, we'll right click on it, go to properties, go to details, and you can see here it shows us it's 192 KBPS, which means it will work. Um, so let me go ahead and open Odyssey which I use a lot. I'm going to drag and drop it there. And we can see right here that our Hertz is 44100 and it needs to be 44100 in order for it to work. If this was, let's say, 48, you could in Odyssey, you can change it right down here by just selecting 44100 and then it'll change it. And, and at least in this program, once you're done, you would just hit export. Uh, as mp3 the file also needs to have a constant bitrate so the bitrate can't be fluctuating uh, up and down which most mp3s they, they do have a constant bitrate but some uh, have a variable one that um, goes up and down make sure it's constant and again you want it to be 192 or lower if your original mp3 file is 128 don't make it higher. You don't need to make it 160 or 192 because it's not going to improve the quality. It'll just make the file unnecessarily bigger. So in this case, this one is already 192. It's already 44, 100. So, I mean, we're good to go. I don't need to make any changes in it. Um, and lastly, let me just play it so you can hear it real quick. All right. And you can see it in this player here, Music B, it shows it's 44.1 uh, hertz and 192 kbps. So that's exactly what we want. All right. And again, it could be lower than 192, and that's fine. All right. So there we go. All right. So our file is good to go. Let me go ahead and fire up the PS3. When we move it over to the PS3, then we'll go ahead and we will um, change the file name and stuff there. All right, so here we are at Multiman. And one of the things I recommend you do first, if you haven't done it already, is go into the second column here, the settings, and make sure that you've um, disabled, at least for right now, the music. So you, you can see here, I have it set to disabled, at least for right now, All right? So we can go ahead and move on to the next step here. What we are going to do is you can either transfer this manually like through USB or do it via FTP. I already have FTP connected to the PS3, so we're set to go. I'll pop up on the screen the directory where this file goes in. Right now, let's go ahead and go to dev HDD zero. Then we're gonna go to the game folder. Then we'll go to bless80608, which is the multi-man folder. And then we'll go to USRDIR. 
and right here you will find the sound bin file. Now you can delete this original sound bin file. Don't worry about it. If you ever want to get the original music back, all you have to do is just reinstall the original Multiman theme back and I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. So let's go here and we can delete this. We will rename the file once we transfer it over. So let's just go ahead and hit delete. We could delete that sound bin file. Let's take our little music file here and transfer it over. Okay, and there it is right there. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and rename this to sound.bin and it needs to be all caps. Make sure you remove the .mp3 extension and then press enter and there we go. So now let's go ahead and check and see if it works. Let's uh, minimize this. And what you may have to do is actually refresh Multiman. So you may have to restart it. Let's go into the settings, go into the theme audio. Let's click enable. And if you don't hear the music start, that's fine. Just go ahead and hit restart. And it will ask you if you want to restart Multiman and just hit yes. And hopefully our little tune will play up here. All right, and there we go. So it's plain, and that's it. That's all that you have to do. Now, a couple of side notes here real quick. Let me go ahead and shut it off um, because we need to cover uh, the whole thing that happens when you install a theme. Oh, and before we get to that whole theme thing, these files um, can be almost, I think, as long as you want them to be. I don't know if there is a limit. I've seen tutorials online that say that they can only be like three, four, five minutes long. Uh, that's complete and utter BS. I have some uh, of those sound bin files that are literally 30, 35 minutes long and they play just fine. When Multiman gets to the end, of the audio file, it will just loop it back to the beginning. So I've had no issues with files that are, you know, quite lengthy. So don't worry about that. Anyway, if you decide to install a theme, uh, let's say you go here to download themes and you download a few. And uh, when you come here to install it, you'll see whatever themes you've downloaded right here and you just pick the one you want to install. Now the problem is that when you install a theme, whatever sound bin file is in that theme, it will overwrite your sound bin file. So 99.9% .9 of the time, it's the same one that comes in stock Multiman. So if you change the theme and you realize your music is gone and it's just playing the stock one, you're just going to have to put it back in the same way uh, I showed you. Delete the sound bin file, put yours in there, rename it sound bin, and you'll be good to go. That's just how it works. All right, guys, and that is it for today. You know, I appreciate you watching. And if this was helpful in any way or informative or entertaining, or even if you just want to show some love or appreciation to the channel, of course, you know the best way to do that is to like the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everybody out there and thanks to everyone who um, showed up for the live stream thing. It was only supposed to be a few minutes and it ended up lasting an hour and a half. But I really appreciate everyone who showed up, especially those that sticked around for the whole entire time. Anyway, much love to everyone out there. It's a crazy world, guys. Please be careful. Take care and we'll see you next time.